Now, once you get to this point where you're like, okay, I've gotten comfortable tiling, now I want to learn how to really get going. Because to tile one piece at a time, it's very time consuming. So once you get comfortable doing it, now you can start doing this, the uh, faster version or the advanced version. And I'm going to get to show you how to do that. So first thing you want to do is you know your next tile is going to be a, a, a medium sized one here because we're offsetting medium, you know, full to small, medium, full to small, and you're going up that way. So you have your lines lined up, so you know, you know your next line is going to be here. Take your level. If you don't have a laser line, you would line up uh, your other line spaces here and put a mark. So you know that's in the middle, lining up to that one. Now I usually use a laser line so I don't have to do this by hand, but that's a great way to do it if you just have your level. So then you take your tile and instead of pulling out a tape measure, you would simply take your tile, flip it upside down, hold it up against the wall, and make a mark a bit smaller than your line here. Because you don't want to have it pressing right against the wall. You want to have it backed off a bit. One, for ease of, of use, and two, because if it is pressing against the wall, and if there's ever any expansion, it could pop it out. So keep it away from the wall, as you'll see all of these are a little bit. So once you've got that one, you can go and take it to your uh, tile breaker, and we will do that right here. So what I've done, I'll count that line. I've taken the mark that I put on the back and transferred it up to the side here. So now I can see it when I set it down on my tile breaker. So I line that line up with right in the middle. And every tile breaker is a bit different, but the middle line is always the middle line. So this particular breaker, I have to take this um, foot here and flip it up. That pad right there, I flip it up. I take the wheel and press it against the tile a little lower than it. I put, start applying pressure, and now when I score across, you'll hear a sizzle. So that sizzle means it's cut well. And you can always hear it, it's very consistent and smooth. If you hear like a scrape, 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 you know that it wasn't done right and it might not break right. So with this particular one, then I go like this, bring the pad down, or I can do it by hand and flip it down. Bring the uh, breaker back up to this point so it's not right on the end, but close to it. And you can either hit it or squeeze. I'm a big fan of what I do is I'll put my hand in here just so that if I hit it, it doesn't hit it too hard. Just to kind of give it some support. And in the other hand, I give it a bit of a tap. And that should break your tile. Now, if your tile is not breaking, if you're hitting it and doing all that stuff and it's not breaking, what happened was is either the wheel, the cutting wheel is dull and it's not working anymore, or you didn't score it properly. Because as you put pressure on, you need to have consistent pressure all the way across the whole tile. And make sure you finish that. You don't stop part way up, but you finish the scoring so that you can come back and break it. And you can see how much faster that is than running out and taking it either to the wet saw or the angle grinder. Scores it, gives it a nice clean line, and now we can install. So we'll get our mortar. Everything's all ready. We've mixed and spread it out. And remember, you you can't over spread. It's better to make sure that there is enough mortar on here than not enough. Now you want to spread for a few tiles this time because we're going to do a bunch at once. So you want to come over about three rows or so. And if you saw that, yes, it happens all the time of more falling down. Don't worry about that. So this is a pretty good section to start with. So we've cut our pieces and we're ready to go. So we know this piece goes here. We've actually marked it, so it makes it even easier. Now, normally you would put one piece in and then put your spacers in and, and then move on to the next. When you're into the advance, moving faster, you just put your pieces down, slide it over a little bit so you leave a bit of a gap. Same thing, slide it over, leave a bit of a gap. Now, 
there's two ways to do this. You can either now add spacers. So you would go and add spacers along here. So make sure to you use a system and stick to that system. So whatever that is, if you decide to um, put your spacers, let's say you do the um, horizontal first instead of the vertical, or sorry, do the vertical instead of the horizontal, do that, but just do it the same every time. I like to do it this way, because like I said, that's the way I do it all the time. And yes, these guys do fall out. That is one, one joy of using spacers, but you do need to use them. So there, you, you just put down three tiles in the matter of time it would normally take to do one or so. Now, when it really gets exciting is when you start getting into a larger areas. And you can really go as far and as fast as you want. You can see how much faster it is to lay a few and then put in spacer. So another way that I was saying you could do it, you could have laid all of this in one shot and then put in all your spacers. And it does work. It, it can be a little confusing at times, so I wouldn't recommend starting that way, but it is a way to do it. And then you would just continue doing this idea. So especially when it's wide open and there's not a lot of cuts to do, or especially when there's no cuts and it's really fast and it works really well. And the great thing is too is you can kind of um, level your tiles with each other if there is bows as you're going. So instead of putting one down, getting it set, putting the next one down, getting it set, and then having to level to the other one, you put the two or three or four down and you level them all to each other because that in the end is what you want, the tiles to be leveled to each other. Even with me explaining, you can see how much faster that is. And if you have more pre-cut tiles, so what you could do then is cut more of this size and this size because you know the size and it's not going to change that much. You could have them ready and just go boop boop and so you make this step pattern up to here. Then once you have it as high as you can go, now you move over and you would go to this side. So now you would go one, two, three here, and then stack one, two, three, one, two, three, and then you'd have a step pattern up to here until you get to the point where now you have to start cutting from underneath this ledge. So hopefully that makes sense. And that way you can just keep moving, um, pre-cut your tiles ahead of time, do as much as you can ahead, and just always be thinking ahead.